from the business side, how is this affecting um, the businesses that are here, their efforts to recruit, their efforts to retain? Um, how's the, how are you feeling the housing, housing crisis on the business side? It, it's having a real impact. So at, uh, at AIM, we do poll our members regularly across the state and say, tell us what your um, biggest challenges are. And for the last four years, um, it has been hiring. And so even though you have an unemployment rate that is excessively low, 2.9%, um, I think, last month, you're still having between 15 and 20% of our employers here in Massachusetts saying, I have open positions. And honestly, when I sit down with them, they say it's probably higher than that. If I had a real choice of talent, it would be greater. And, and, and so it's having a real impact. You know, I, my story is not dissimilar from what we have all talked about. I grew up in the Midwest. I came out here to Western Mass to go to college. I fell in love with it. Before I came out, I thought, oh, I'll go out for four years, I'll go back. Loved it, stayed out here to go to graduate school, eventually found a job, got a home, have children in the public schools, I'm here to stay, right? That is the story that we need to continue. But I will say, it was sticker shock 20 years ago when I was looking. I can't imagine <laughs> what our 22, 23, 24-year-olds who are looking to buy their first home are facing. And so there's continued, as the secretary said, on top of that, competition from other states. Mm -hmm. And in the post-COVID world, where things have changed about where you can live and where you can work, that competition is even greater. So we really have to take some aggressive steps now if we're going to right-size uh, where we're going in the future. 